<clears throat> Welcome back. As the partial government shutdown drags on, we're now into day 31. President Trump laid out a plan over the weekend and a compromise with Democrats. What he's essentially offering is temporary protection for 700,000 DACA recipients. Those are those deferred action for childhood arrival recipients and temporary protected status for 300,000 adult immigrants. Well, Democrats seem to want to reject that as well. They simply don't want to give him money, the $5.7 billion for the wall. To analyze this further, let's bring in our good friend, Jesse Jane Duff. She's a senior fellow at the London Center for Policy Research and a 20-year veteran of the United States, retiring as a gunnery sergeant, Semper Fi. Jesse, great to see you, my friend. Thanks for being here. Semper Fi. Jesse, you know, you, you, you're engaged in a lot of these policy discussions at a high level in D.C. You, you know many of these players involved. Mm -hmm. What is going on here? I cannot see the American people agreeing with the Democrats on this one. I saw some internal polling today which shows uh, uh, America much more towards Donald Trump's position here than the mainstream media is letting on. What are you hearing on the ground in D.C., and how do you think this ultimately shakes out? Well, I'm hearing two things in D.C. by conservatives. Many are feeling that uh, President Trump did the right thing and handed over DACA and uh, the TPs in a, on a silver platter, basically. And for people yeah. who don't understand what the TPs are, these are people here on a, an extended stay who have basically overstayed their visa. So are here illegally also. They came over and then they didn't leave. So regardless, the DACAs that can go up to age, what, 35 and 36 years old, grown adults working in the United States who are blaming their parents for being here, that's like you and me blaming our parents for growing up blue collar and the government should subsidize us. You can't blame your parents when you have every situation you're in. So we've got people that feel that he accommodate the Democrats, handed them everything they should want. And what do the Democrats say? Well, we don't want a temporary solution for three years. People's lives are in turmoil. You know, he wants a permanent wall. Well, we want a permanent. That's one side. The other side feels that this is a very slippery slope that is leading to amnesty. That once you start pushing the can down the road on DACA, which he over already said was not legal, and I think he's got to wait for the Supreme Court to come out on its ruling. Once the Supreme Court comes out on its ruling, we very well may get that problem solved by itself, one way or the other. And they see this as a very close gesture to amnesty. Numbers USA has put out a lot of statements on this. I'm closely aligned with them. I listen to what they say. I don't always necessarily agree or disagree. It's not my area of expertise. They say the president ran on, built the wall, and he would not give amnesty. And this is a threat to American workers, because how are people working in this country illegally? They're basically using, often, U.S. citizens' access, such as our Social Security, getting paid, which lowers our wages if you want to compete with an illegal worker. They also get accommodations into the universities and colleges. And when that happens, what does that mean? A U.S. citizen got rejected? So this is a, a, a turbulent time for the conservatives. But at the end of the day, I say the president hit a home run. He threw a deal at them, and they weren't smart smart enough to even come to the table and at least play it out. They just rejected it within, what, five seconds? That was dumb. Yeah. Absolutely yeah, dumb. Yeah, and I think, I think the American people saw that and feel as you do. Jesse Jane Duff, sorry for the short segment tonight. Catch Jesse Jane here on Newsmax with me often and check her out on Twitter. You're not going to want to miss her Twitter feed. She's been very fired up lately. Jesse Jane, as always, great to see you, my friend. Have a great day. All right.